Whenever you finish a model, there's always that little finishing touch you want to add to it, like for instance, freehand, or if you're not so good with a brush, or you've got a lot to do, decals. They could be a right pain in the ass to put onto a miniature and give a really good effect, unless you follow these tips. First off, once your mini is done, give it a quick coat of gloss varnish so we can get all of them the, uh, the each surface is evened out for your decals to go on. You can see a little bit of a sheen here. The next step is to get all of your bits and pieces ready. You'll need some micro set and some micro sole. I've put numbers on the lids of these, so I can't ever go wrong. The set first, the sole second. Very, very important. The next thing you're gonna need is a craft knife to get the transfers off of the backing paper and a bowl of water to actually remove the decal from that sheet. Then, obviously, remove the decals from the sheet. Use a craft knife, be careful, don't cut your fingers off, please, I don't want to hear any comments about that. Once you've got that done, drop them in the water to soften. That will release the glue that holds them in place. While that's happening, get your micro set, get an old brush, nothing that's new, and just apply a layer of this to this area that you want to put your decal on. I find it useful to paint the entirety of that area with this. That way you avoid any tide marks. It doesn't really leave a residue, but you don't want to get those on there anyway. Next, carefully remove the decal from the backing paper with that brush and pop it into place on the miniature. You've got a little bit of room to maneuver things here. The micro set helps hold the transfer in place, but you've got some time before that really starts to take effect. Use your brush, smooth out any creases that you can. You're never gonna get all of them off of a curved surface though. If we're looking close here, you can see there's a couple of places where there's a little kink in there, a little bit of a, a raised area, and that's because it's gone on something that isn't flat. Next up, we take the micro sole. This helps soften decals, and we paint that over just the decal. Now, this is going to take a couple of coats, and you need to let the chemical action of this happen fully. So, don't try and dry it with a hairdryer, just leave it. Five to ten minutes should be enough, and you probably want two to three coats of this to fully soften that out. Every time you do this with a brush, try and move in the action to help try and uh, sort of push those, those little extra. Uh, ridges down into the surface and then get all of the rest of your decals done before the next step. Real quick before I show you how to get rid of those awful marks that go around transfers and really ruin the effect. Remember we stream four nights a week on Twitch where you can come and join the fun live where you can win giveaways like minis, vouchers for game stores, things like that. And we also put up content every week on Patreon, whether it's a video guide similar to this one, but normally a longer format uh, or a written guide as well. So make sure you tune in onto either of those two platforms. There's some links in the video description below. Now let's get on with this tutorial. So the next thing you do is take some more gloss varnish and run this through an airbrush and give all of the areas that you can on the miniature uh, a good coat with this. Don't want to go too far with it, but get it on there. Then I've taken some Tester's Dull Coat, a Rattle Cam Matte Varnish and hit it with this. It's given me a good satin finish all over, but look, you can see none of the silvering where those decals are. They all look like they've been painted on in that great piece. <laughs> 